Hi, this video is going to show you uh, a few techniques of uh, differentiation. First, we'll go for the differentiate the, differentiate the following with respect to x using the constant rule. So constant rule means that the, the function, our function given is as a, a constant function. So we look at this uh, first example, a. If uh, given the y equals to 5, dy dx will equals to 0. Because uh, when you have a function y equals to k, then dy dx, follow the constant rule, dy dx will be equals to 0. So uh, for the question b, you can see that the b is equals to y equals to negative 4f. So negative 4f, f is an unknown. Uh, so negative 4f, we will consider it as a constant. So the same thing, the same rule will be applied. dy dx will be equals to 0. We don't care what's, what's the constant be given here. We'll just uh, use the constant rule, dy dx equals to 0. So the same thing for the question c. dy dx equals to uh, 0 because uh, y is given as a 2e. 2e is a constant. So it's equals to 0. The same thing for the rest of the example, dy dx. 3 pi plus 1 will be equals to 0. So for this question uh, e, dy dx also will be equals to 0 because uh, 6 theta. Theta is nothing to do with the x. We're going to in differentiate with respect to x. So theta is uh, considered as a constant. So we have a 6 theta. This is considered a constant. We use the constant rule dy dx is equal to 0. For the last example, this is also equal to 0. We follow this constant rule. Alright, so go to the question 2. Now we proceed to question 2. Question 2, we are going to apply the power rule. Power rule, given the y equals to x power of n, alright, then uh, to find the dy dx, we are going to move the n to the front and the power of n minus 1. This is a power rule. Alright, so uh, given the a is equals to, uh, y equals to negative 4x. So dy dx equals to negative 4 will be a coefficient. We just uh, uh, put it uh, at the front, meaning that we just keep it first. And then uh, go we're going to use the power rule to differentiate the x. Differentiate the x again, the power here is 1. Bring the 1 to the front. And then the power of the x will be minus 1. 1 minus 1, you will get 0. So x power of 0, equivalent to 1. So finally, you get negative 4. So this is your dy dx. Alright, so look at the question B. Y equals to x power of 5. dy dx, which is the first derivative, we're going to apply the power rule. Bring the 5 to the front. And the power of 5 minus 1, you get 4. This is a answer for the B. And the C. Question C. Given the y equals to 5 power, 5x five power of negative 3. dy dx will be equals to, keep the 5. And then negative 3, you move to the front. Multiply by 5. And the power of x will minus 1, you will get negative 4. Simplify it you will get negative 15. x power of negative 4, you can just uh, put it in this form. Alright, negative, the power of negative means uh, is a 1 over, find the reciprocal. So you bring the x, okay, as a denominator and the power of 4, you just put it here. Okay, so the question d, d is given the function y equals to uh, square root of s cube. Square root of s cube can be written in this form, 3 over 2. The power is 3 over 2. Over 2 means that it's uh, forming the square root. Alright? So to get a dy dx, I will uh, rewrite this question. Okay? This uh, function in the form of a power first. Okay? Then after that, I will apply the product rules. I bring the 3 over 2 to the front. And the power minus 1. 3 over 2 minus 1 will be uh, 3 over 2 minus uh, 2 over 2. 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 will get 1 over 2. Okay, so or you may rewrite the, the answer, your answer in this form. 3 over 2 square root of x. Alright, now we proceed to the question e. e given the function 
y equals to 1 over square root of x. y equals to 1 over square root of x. Before I start to differentiate, I will uh, change this uh, function into the power form. So I'll get my y equals to um, negative 1 over 2 x power of negative 1 over 2 is equivalent to 1 over square root of x. To get the dy dx, apply the product, uh, sorry, the power rule, bring the 1 over 2 to the front, and the power minus 1, you get a negative 1 over 2 minus 1. Okay, so negative 1 over 2 minus 1, you get negative 3 over 2. Alright, rewrite your answer, make it more nice, look nice. Okay, 1 over 2. This is a 1 over. 1 over x power of 3 square root. Okay, so this is a negative 1 over 2 square root of x power of 3. Okay, so for the question f, for the question f, given as, given the y equals to 2 over 3 square root of x. y equals to 2 over 3 square root of x. Again, I will rewrite the question in this form x power of negative 1 over 2. And uh, to get the dy dx, keep the 2 over 3 as a coefficient. And uh, move the 1 over, negative 1 over 2 to the front. And the power of uh, negative 1 over 2 minus 1, you get negative 3 over 2. So uh, this uh, 2 can be cancelled off. Then you have your negative 1 over 3. Okay. Then this is uh, 1 over x power of 3 square root of uh, x power of 3. And uh, simplify again, you get a 1 over 3, square root of x power of 3. Okay, so uh, next, quite next example, we also talk about the power rule. So the, for this example, I will put it, this, I will explain in my next video, which is a, a name as a part 2. So uh, thank you for watching.